Hey, you're watching Volgor's videos, and this is a video response to, um, Samuel Tech Geek. Tech Geek? I'd call it Tech Geek, but Tech Geek, I guess what it's called. Um, so, okay, so this is like my book bunch, which I doubt anybody's gonna do. But, anyways, in this video of his, um, I was watching Myland Man 22's video and PSP vs. DS, his opinion, and uh, from there I went to um, Demonic Bunny, which is a pretty good video, I and mean, he didn't really pick a side, he just said all the different things about it, and then Helicopter Kid, um, I can't really remember what he did, I'm not going to watch the full thing all over again, but then from there I went to Samuel Technique's video, and then I was just kind of like, wow, he's a real... PSP hater. I mean, and I know. First of all, I'm going to say the f major flaws of the PSP. Okay, major flaw number one the UMDs, yes, they do give. And when I say give, look at this the discs come out of the casing, and the plastic thing that goes on top, the little covering part, uh, the lid. That's what I call it. Um, it just over time, it, the glue is gonna wear off and it's gonna sink in. And then when you put in your game, it's not gonna read. And then from there, you're gonna have to take that lid and just take it off, throw it somewhere, and then so then it, the disc can spin freely. And I did that, and it, it reads perfectly fine. But but uh, yeah, that's major flaw number one. Major flaw number two. Is just no analog, no or no n secondary nub, and that's a major flaw in shooting games. That's why I don't have any first-person shooting games. I don't think I even have any first-person games um, on the PSP. I mostly have like uh, Need for Speed and Mega Man and Luminous, because Luminous you must have. All right, so that's it. Major flaw number three is um, the charging on. The USB, it just you can't do it on the old PSPs, but on the new ones you can charge on the USB. But you have to like go in there, pick it, turn it on, which okay, whatever. At least, at least it's there. But it's I heard complaints that it's really slow charging. It takes like forever. So yeah, that's that's really the major flaws. Oh yeah, and then the memory sticks. Um, they do cost money to save, but to make your whoops to save your data. But then again, um, the Memory sticks have gotten quite a bit cheaper. I mean, before they were like, what was it, like 50 bucks for 512 megabytes, and then like 70 for a gig, and then like 100 bucks for, oh, wait, was it $50 for 512, and then like $80 for a gig, and then like $100 for 2 gig, or I don't know, just it was just being ex insanely expensive for, for, um, memory sticks but now it's not too bad I mean it's it's not too cheap I mean if you want to get an 8 gig memory sticks like 150 bucks I got my 4 gigs a generic brand for um, 37 off of Amazon that's a that's a great deal I'm happy with that and uh, so that's that's a that's a kind of a flaw but it at least it has ex has at least has memory in there you know with the DS okay um, when you save your game it goes on there if something deletes it you know, you can't back up your saves, which is a great thing with the PSP. You can back up your saves on the computer. So if you have some jerkwad that just plays your PSP and then deletes all the data, oh, it's safe on your PC or Mac or, you know, you know, people call Macs versus PC, but a Mac is still a personal computer, so I don't know what they're going on about that. Um, all right, so on with the DS. Um, the great thing, yeah, you know, done with the PSP, not on the PSP anymore, we're on the DS. Okay, great thing with the DS is that, for one, you don't have UMDs that scratch or pop off or you know, the screw up, but it's just flash memory, and I'm a big fan of flash memory because, you know, it can't really get hurt unless you, like, throw it somewhere, get it lost, or smash it, take it apart, whatever. It's way more durable. And um, something else about the DS, it's backward compatible. Yeah, we all know that. Touchscreen, we all know that. Um, what else? Um games this is better for racing and shooting this is better for retro classic stuff well this is good for um, retro classic stuff but this is better for like 
platformers and par party games, multiplayer. Um, major, major, um, great thing with the DS, major, um, con or pro, I mean, not con, pro, um, is that the download play. Oh my god, I love the download play. Anybody that says the download play doesn't matter is a freaking retard because the download play, okay, I'll give you a scenario. You're in class, somebody has a DS, they don't have, they have like maybe Legend Zelda, Phantom Hourglass. You, or as is this case, me, I have, well, I don't actually have it right here, but I have um, Mario Kart Double, or Mario Kart DS. And uh, I'll say, hey, um, you want to play Mario Kart Double Dash? And they're like, oh, I can't, I don't have that game. And you say, wait a minute, hold on, wait, wait, hold on. Don't you know you can do DS download play? Huh, mm, I didn't really know you could do that. I said, yeah. All you do is go download play, and I could just give you a squirt, like like the zoom, you know, squirt, whatever. That's a bad line. You can just play a, a mini version of the versus game, and so you can be shy guy, and I can pick whatever guy I want. I get to be the the um, server master or whatever you call it, and uh, we can set up a game, and you can play up to like three other people, you and three other people, with one DS cartridge with with uh, over half the games. And the way I see, if it's not an insanely good first-person experience, it's the game's not even worth your purchase. But then with the PSP, and just to say this, this is the best part of the PSP. Oh, I love that. That, mmm, yes. Okay, not best part, but it's so satisfying. With the DS, you just go, it's just a click. But at least you can throw it, people. Not like that. But, um, oh yeah, with the DS, or the PSP, I mean. To play multiplayer with the, with the PSP, you either have to copy a ROM, which I do. It's a great feature with the PSP. You can copy ISOs on the PSP. It's great. It's the PSP is a hacker's dream. Okay, I'm not too short on time. I need to wrap it up. But um, let's see. Aside from the music, video, and you know that. And um, let's see. Before I run out of time. All right, so. You can put back backups of your games on your PSP, and uh, so what I'm saying is, if you have a backup of the game on your PSP, which you need custom firmware, and the majority of people don't know how to do, I was lucky to figure it out. Um, you can let the person borrow your game, and you play your original on here. But there's gonna be a rare that's gonna be a rare occurrence to actually bring your game with you, and have the ISO on your memory stick but also a great thing about the PSP you know going back to the hackers dream is that you can um, uh, let's you can play retro games SNES NES um, you know anything that's that's really classic you know you can't really play like PS2 games or maybe PS1 games you know, I'm sure you can I know you can do it but I haven't really figured it out m myself. I know you can do it, but you just have to, you just have to go through a bunch of more crap. Um, oh yeah, and you don't have your secondary triggers. Um, let's see, but yeah, you can you can copy your games, back them up. So if somebody steals your game, you still have it on your PSP memory stick and on your computer, and so that's good. Um, you can look at photos, put a camera on there. I think. Um, you can watch videos, which is pretty cool, but I don't, but see, in my opinion, a PSP does not replace an MP3 player. Do not think you're going to get a PSP and not, and, and just skip out an MP3 player. Because an MP3 player has like a, a, a navigation system to like music, go to music, go to full, uh, your band. So if you want to go to Metallica, go to Metallica and you have like Master Puppets, Black Album, um, Reload, whatever, you know, you have like this whole navigation system. With this, all you have is a folder. You go to like a folder, and then you have songs in the folder. So it's just very basic. But if you just if you just like a few songs, you're not a big music buff, then that'd be all right for you. All right. So in the end, PSP if you're a Sony fanboy, DS if you're a Nintendo fanboy. That's, it's just that simple. Other than that, DS if you're if you're 12 and under, or if you're a Mario fan, Sonic fan. PSP if you're a hacker if you're if you're a hacker oh my god if you're a hacker PSP you're gonna be so freaking happy when you get a PSP so this guy he 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 just beats on the PSP but one more thing 
this is a charger and a PSP, okay? You, it's not a box like, um, where was it? Cell phone charger, but the same idea. You have to, it takes more, more space on the wall, so that's not good. You have to have more plugins open, but this, just go plug it right in. So yeah, um, you know, I say the PSP and DS is both good. You have your multiplayer games and easy pickup games, and you have your racing games and your more high graph games. Alright, so that was Vagora. Stay tuned for more.